Peter, and I'm here to help you demystify trail food. A lot of people really don't know where to start and how to make their own food at home. And let me tell you, it's really, really easy. It just takes a little bit of know-how, that's all. Making your own trail meals at home is not only better for you because you have more control over what goes in it, especially if you're on a special diet, but it's also pretty cheap. I mean, have you seen the prices on the stuff that you buy at the store? I mean, $10 for a pasta or beans or potatoes, along with some meat and sauces. Yeah, you can do that at home. It really helps if you have a dehydrator, but it's not absolutely necessary. The other thing is, if you're not interested in drying at all, you can always buy freeze-dried food online. And I cover all of that in my blog articles at www.demeters-dish.blogspot.com. Today, we're going to talk about spaghetti squash. Like a lot of the bases we're going to use in our trail dinners that I show you, spaghetti squash doesn't have an overwhelming flavor. So it's really versatile because you can use a variety of sauces with it, and the squash is going to tend to complement the sauces that we use. Spaghetti squash is a great pasta substitute. I use this anytime I wanna do a pasta dish. For instance, spaghetti. You can top it with an avocado cream sauce, and yes, you can dry avocados. Or how about a spaghetti squash pesto? It's delicious. But spaghetti squash really doesn't take any time because all you have to do is pop it in the oven. How easy is that? So let's get this bad boy in the oven and we're gonna see if we can make some trail food magic happen. I set my oven on 350. I'm gonna stick the whole spaghetti squash right on the rack and that's it. I'm gonna walk away and let this puppy cook for about an hour. Boy, that was hard. One cup of spaghetti squash has about 30 calories and it also has fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B6, magnesium, and potassium. Since a lot of our bases are vegetable oriented and they don't have a lot of extra calories, you can add the calories back into your food other ways. And one of my favorites is packets of olive oil. It tends to complement the flavors that we're trying to create, especially if you're doing Italian or Greek. And the olive oil adds healthy fat as well. Our spaghetti squash is nice and cool so we can handle this. And we're going to start the fun part, which is cutting it up. I'm gonna do this on a pan because it can make quite a mess, as you will see. But it doesn't take long to do this. You're gonna take a spoon and just gently scrape out the seeds, but this is where you have to be careful. You just want like the slimy part that the seeds are in because as you rake spaghetti squash with your spoon, do you see how it's starting to already separate? And that's the flesh. That's the part that we want to save. So we're gonna to try to be really careful here and only get the seeds. I might just be able to do this with my hands. And I don't like to throw away um, excess parts of my food. What I don't use, I do put in my compost bin. So it doesn't really go to waste. It goes back into the garden. All right. So what we have left is the actual flesh. Now let me show you what this is like. If you just take your spoon and scrape it, you're left with this beautiful, it's stringy flesh. You see that there? that is like strands of spaghetti. How fun is that? And I have my Paraflex sheets that come from with the Excalibur dehydrator. And you just simply take handfuls. This is like playtime for adults in the kitchen here. All right, so we're gonna spread this fun stuff out. Check that out, woohoo! And we're gonna pop it into the dehydrator um, on a, the vegetable setting, which I think is about 120 degrees or thereabouts. I mean, it's already cooked, so you could really do it um, on a lower setting, and if you just wanna take longer to cook or to, to dehydrate, that's fine. 
The reason I'm putting it on the solid tray instead of the mesh tray is that it's still a little damp and I don't want any moisture, any liquid to drip down while um, I have it in my dehydrator. This makes a little bit of a mess. So I'll transfer this in a couple of hours when it's semi-dry to a mesh sheet to continue drying until it's nice and crisp. Okay, check this out. I went ahead and put another mesh sheet over it a few hours ago because it was getting so dry it was going to start blowing around. And it is crisp, dried to a crisp, and nice and thin and almost translucent. Beautiful. It's a beautiful orange yellow color. And I have my mason jar that I go ahead and store this in. I have probably about one and a half squash in this jar, so it gives you an idea of what it dries down to. In closing, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope we took some mystery out of spaghetti squash and you have some fun with your dehydrator in the kitchen and try some new things out. This is Demeter saying happy hiking.